this thing is crazy dude okay uh if you are a programmer then you definitely be aware may be aware of gpt program okay uh, it was it's famous since 2020 okay or 2021 and if you are in ai ml and you don't know about open ai and gpt program i don't think so maybe you are then new okay it's very famous thing by the time if you watching this time okay in 2020 in 2022 open ai holds world's most intelligent model ever trained okay most intel if google and microsoft is hiding something that's a different topic but open ai has a uh, i think davinci maybe its name it has the most powerful model ever created on the earth till the date okay and this thing is available for free and preview and i'm saying you you will going to be bloomed okay just go ahead and sign up okay that's the best thing it can the first time i got a positivity f- uh, of something ai is from chat gpt okay sometimes we thinks robots and they will going to kill us and something 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 okay but look at this thing okay it's so crazy and so helpful okay let me just show you okay uh, a writer program to generate secure password in c yeah write a secure uh cryptographically secure okay and it does understand the things okay so let's see what it does first of all what it does and you and one more thing you can give it something which is uh, your code and you can make it understandable for an example you can rewrite it if you wanted to okay uh, like uh, you have a code you have written it and you think it's not a good practices you can upload it here and tell it to rewrite this program in a better way and it will going to do that okay so so it's generating okay now let's see okay uh, it's generating a secure random number generator Uh, but there is a deal okay uh, it's seeded from time okay and that's not a good practice so let okay let's tell him by the way it will going to also explain you the things okay that's the best part if you have the code and you don't know how this thing works you are contributing to open source copy it paste it here and tell him uh, is it a good thing or how uh, or you can tell him explain me what this code is doing okay so okay let's tell it uh, let's tell him that uh, it's a wrong thing okay you should not seed your number or random function with the uh, time so i can write uh it's a uh, okay it's a uh, secure program because uh seeded random function time which is a bad practice okay let's see what it does now uh, will he able to identify this thing and yeah yes correct that's right the current time has been seeded with random number generator is not secure to generate cryptographically secure password this is because the current time can be easily predicted so i'm not going to explain you a whole thing but thing is you should never uh, it's a security thing okay you should never seed a random function with a deterministic value or something which can be predicted okay uh, like time if you know when the password was created you can uh, you can uh, okay it's rewriting the again the whole stuff uh, you can generate this same password again if you know when it was created so let's try it's time it's trying a better way to do this thing uh, let's see what it does so i think it's using some random byte thing okay that's fine okay i don't know about how random uh, finds works behind the scene but i do know about one function like uh arc for random i think in c which is cryptographically secure okay uh, secure random generator so let's see uh, what about okay until it didn't complete uh, you cannot enter okay so it's also explain what it does okay that's a good thing what about uh, arc for random so let's see if he knows about this function on arc for random is a function that generates random number that's that's what it is okay that's what it does uh, it's telling you it's a it's a function from bst family and um, now you can understand okay I, i'm so excited you have a function you can give it to him and he will going to explain you uh, how this thing works okay and if it doesn't show me an example i'll going to ask him that show me an example okay it's showing me an example as well let's see 
okay so it's creating a, again a password okay it, it's improving the my password manager or password generator i think not sure what it's gonna do i'm excited about that will he gonna use this thing okay it's using this thing okay and fine now i can write a password uh, random generator without even knowing the code okay that's a serious issue and you may be thinking as a programmer uh, if this thing can write code it can also improve your code okay if you have already written a program it can find vulnerabilities in that that is there any insecure things you have done okay it will gonna tell you that so if this thing is telling you some explanation and you can check it out uh, but thing is is this a replacement for programmers first of all okay i will gonna address this thing uh, of course not okay if you think as a programmer okay for me it's an exciting thing it can help me to write better code okay it generated when i say in, in the first line i said him cryptographically secure password it didn't generate a cryptographically secure password even it was very insecure password generator or random number generator because it's seeded with time after that i explained him that it's a insecure you should write in a better way it tried a better way and uh, it used some random byte thing okay I, i'm not aware of this thing okay it's a part of open ssl okay open ssl always have some good stuff uh, then i am aware of some a function called arc for random what about this thing he explained me that you can also use arc for random and it generated a password it's crazy now but on the first time he don't give me this most secure password generator that's the first thing and second thing is this thing is creating products but at the end if you know how a artificial intelligence ai ml model works you fed them some data okay or you may be thinking abhishek artificial intelligence is about taking their own decision help. of course but this decision will be affected by their past experiences okay once uh, okay so there are types of different types of ai ml stuff okay or ai levels i can uh, this can this thing can write a random function generator because this thing is already been created by somebody else okay it's not a new thing okay and one more thing um, as a programmer if i think okay as a programmer if this thing never existed this thing will not gonna able to do it first thing okay because it doesn't know what a random password generator is and abhishek artificial intelligence means you can think of course you can think but the artificial intelligence that you are talking about is about singularity and once you get singularity that simply means ai has the same mindset as human this is not the point for that okay this is not the point because i have to explain him a little bit of thing but it's crazy okay it, if you would ask me now okay should i sign up for it go ahead sign up it's free and i definitely sure this will gonna be paid in future and i'm thinking i will gonna give them money okay i, I want this thing because this thing is teacher okay and uh, let's let's take an example uh how to clear uh clipboard in 30 seconds and bash or in uh, linux let's let's try this out so i wanted to write a code which can uh, clear my clipboard after 30 seconds what is c so to clear clipboard in bash you can use xclip and uh, manipulate content tag i option to specify something input file okay it will gonna explain me how to clear an uh, after 30 seconds so here is it and uh, i think it's wrong okay it will gonna okay okay it will gonna work at the end it's uh, i think uh, writing everything to the null okay okay fine just shut up okay but look at this thing it's bragging okay he knows a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay mm. it's not uh, stopping okay it's it's exciting for me okay from security point of view let's talk about security of course let's ask him um uh, uh hash cat passy commands let's see what it says uh i think they have will gonna have problem okay not with this thing okay but if you will ask them create a uh, payload okay uh, reverse shell okay so this thing will be a problematic so it's explaining the basic functionality of hashnet like tag b for benchmarks uh, tag m specify the format or algorithm good okay this thing can teach you what can be better than this thing and for now okay this thing a teacher for me okay this thing teaches it, it has 
tell me a lot of stuff i am being using it this thing and it's a it's a different feeling and i think this is a revolution kind of, okay revolution kind of thing uh, i never get excited something like that before uh, this kind of revolution got about android i think when somebody oh, we will be able to use mobile phone with touch and this thing was taking good some of the people like uh, that time i think steve uh, bomber i think i'm not sure i Bomber, okay he was the ceo of microsoft he said how can you even use mobile phone with a touch screen and now we are using it okay so that's the same thing and look at this just blooded okay think it okay fine and uh, but always remember that okay you can learn so many things okay from him okay it will gonna teach you yeah uh, it's not a thing to talk okay it's a thing to learn and to ask him it will gonna answer you okay so and let's talk, uh, let's see something else okay like uh, something which may be uh, violate their policies generate a viewer shell in php let's see what it does and uh, i think it will gonna give me a yellow flag or red flag something like uh waiting uh -huh. okay but thing is this thing is good okay and uh, you should check them this out okay it it has taught me a lot of stuff let's talk about rewriting okay let's come over here and if let's take a function let's uh let's uh check out our own function which one should i use Uh, script file maybe let's check out our own random function it works check breach okay check breach is an amazing utility okay it checks if your data have ever been breached let's talk about bash okay let's talk about python okay bash we already tried some bash. let's copy it and let's see okay request timeout i don't know send it again like save and some Let's see. Okay, I think I should stop video. Maybe. So it's working. It's giving me a reverse shell. Okay, I I I thought it will gonna give me red flag because in I have tried this thing and in past it has given me a red flag. Okay, it said uh, this may violate our privacy pol or say, say content policies and something like that. Okay, so you have a reverse shell and it's explaining everything how this thing is happening and which program. Okay, it's written in PHP. Amazing. Okay now let's try something else okay uh, we will gonna do something else okay not something different okay uh, sorry different like this time we will gonna upload a code here uh, i like a markdown guy little bit of markdown guy so what this code does and is it secure and okay i violated the privacy giving me some errors okay just look at this thing okay what is saying this php opens a network shell and then finally script execute it's explaining everything this content may violate content policy in this okay so of course you will gonna have some problem with hacking stuff here okay but they can explain you like uh, what is xss there's, there's no problem with that okay but if you ask them how to exploit xss in google that would be problematic okay so it's a great teacher if i would say okay this uh, okay let's check out what it, this code does i just paste it here uh, from my github this code uh, is a python sketch check for whether a given password has involved in any database that's true uh, it uses pwned passwords api uh, provided by the website have i been pwned they know this website to check if password ever been found this kid has hashed using and to send the five characters or it's explaining line by line every code how did i send it's you yeah, okay this code using k anonymity method so you don't expose your whole hash of your password even though so if you are uh, however there are security concerns on this script first have i been pwned api is not a complete database for all of breaches okay so it's a it's, it's saying that uh, have i been uh, have i been pwned api doesn't have all the breach database that's fine okay but it does have all the commonly known uh, passwords okay so that's enough for you for normal people's okay uh, so it is possible that 
a password could have been involved in data breach and that is not included in there secondly this script does not include any error handling validation that's a programmatic stuff okay that's a programmable stuff not hacking stuff and it's great now it's telling me what i did wrong here error handling validation inputs which could make it vulnerable in various type of attacks okay overall this script provide a useful service okay they know it's a useful service it's not a complete or secure solution for checking whether password have been involved in data breach it's important uh, to use security measures such as more secure hashing algorithm and now he knows i was talking okay i was thinking he will going to tell me more secure hashing algorithm okay that was i was looking for because have i Font API uses SHA1, okay, and I use somewhere SHA1. So I have imported, okay, SHA1, SHA1. That's a, it's not a standard, it's vulnerable, okay. It's explaining it, but I cannot do anything about that because it's about API, okay. API only accepts this SHA1, okay. So, yeah, it can tell me how can I write a better code as well. So, what do you think? It's a friend of programmer or just like an enemy, okay. I don't, I think it's a friend, okay we have to use it in hacking and programming in devops anything that you can think of okay let's uh, maximize even i have bookmark go ahead okay sign up for this thing and let's rewrite this thing okay let's say uh, rewrite right above eight while recording above program better Let's see if it does right. Okay, I. Um, okay, it started. I think. Okay, it started. I don't know what what policy I did. Maybe it was. I thought that it is uh, somehow typing for uh, reverse shell. But no, it cannot be wrong. Okay, it wasn't rewriting for reverse shell. It is it was writing trying to rewrite this thing. Okay. Uh, okay. I think it's explaining some stuff. Oh, it is writing comments look at this thing okay you don't have to write comments so you can just upload a function and tell him write a comment for this functions okay and it will gonna write for you crazy dude crazy i'm so excited about this thing if you would ask me that's my new teacher okay that's my new teacher that's thing so let's see so uh, yes, okay, somebody again somebody come. okay again it tried i don't know why it stopped in between because i left my maybe okay but it's working okay it's amazing it's robust that's what i have it's been i think 20 minutes it's been 17 minutes i am recording okay so i have shown you some examples where you can tell a program to write a secure function or comment it out okay and uh, is your program is vulnerable or not and at the end i answered some questions like i don't think so it's kind of a still an uh, alternative to programmers okay it's it's not a way it's an, it's not on singularity for now okay but it is a thing okay i'm loving it it will gonna help programmers that's what i think it's a thing for programmers and help them it's not only for programmers why i'm emphasizing on programmers okay it's for hacking you can start hacking doing and explain it and what is hashing okay you can ask what is hashing okay uh, what is uh, john uh, john the ripper or not don't ask what is okay it's it, you can find this thing on google ask them to uh how actually what is kdf function and how john the ripper uh okay how how to supply multiple uh, formats hash formats to the john the ripper okay ask that kind of question now it's just it's good it's a youtube kill uh, okay not youtube killer but it's a google killer thing okay and i know this will gonna be paid in future but till now it's free use it it's this thing is amazing <laughs> learn how to write more secure code learn about best practices ask him uh, does this my code follow best practice if doesn't ask him to rewrite it or ask him what can i improve okay he will gonna answer you okay or he or she whatever it is okay it will gonna answer you okay so that's all that's why i created this long video okay so it's a good stuff and uh, what else i do have okay should i approach something that's all okay that's all okay thank you thank you so much for watching i hanging out it's been a while i should stop starting now thank you peace out